Why, hello there. I hope you're doing it so fantastic. My name is Jalisa and welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be walking you through a beginner leg day workout. I am so excited. I love a leg day. I do not normally work out in a full face makeup, but I will go ahead and show you my outfit. Top is from Alpha Lee. The bottoms are from Camo Fitness, which is on Amazon. I'm gonna literally grab, to literally grab my Carmex and my tripod, and I'm going to go so we can begin. I'm going to start off with my warm-up which I'm doing a f like a full lower body workout today so all of the movements are going to be aimed towards the exercises that I'm going to be doing so to start off I do an incline walk of five at a speed of either 2.5 to 3.5 depending on where I'm at in my cycle this just warms my body up and helps me kind of get rid of any gym anxiety I may be having. Next, I'm going to go into hip flexor static stretches. I like to have a variation of static and dynamic movements while I am warming up, especially on a lower body day because I need to stretch my hips, make sure my hamstrings are warmed up, all that good stuff. Next, I'm going to be doing the 90-90. This just warms my hips up and allows me to get deeper into whatever squat I am doing for that day. Most of my movements have to do with opening my hips and then a few of them have to do with making sure that my hamstrings are warmed up as well because I can't just go straight into squatting, which you technically shouldn't go straight into any workout. You should be doing a warm-up every single time. Here, I am going down into a deep squat hold for a few seconds and coming up. This is just prepping me for the very first movement that we're going to be doing. Whenever I am programming for myself or for a client, I always take into consideration the compound movements that they're going to be doing and making sure that the warm-up goes with the workout that you're performing and then here i'm doing toe touches you can do rdls or good mornings but because this is beginner friendly i'm just doing toe touches this just helps me stretch out my hamstrings a bit because my hip flexors are so tight i do have to make sure that i am stretching and warming up my hamstrings and hip flexors. So I'm going to start off with a compound movement, which my compound movement of the choice today is going to be a goblet squat because this not only works your quads, but also works your glutes. So first we've got a goblet squat. This is a great beginner movement. When you are performing the movement, I want you to think about pressing your heels into the ground as you come up as well as making sure those knees stay out so there is no caving in. Goblet squat, you want to make sure it is held close to your chest so you are able to squat deeper. Here I am absolutely hating the movement because I am just not really a squat girly, never will be. In every single leg workout, I am always going to add a unilateral movement. This is something like reverse lunges, step ups, single leg deadlift, single leg glute bridge, whatever it is, I'm always going to make sure that I have a unilateral movement. These are literally my least favorite, but I'm gonna do them because I want you to do them. When doing any unilateral movement, you want to make sure that you are doing your weaker side first. To target the glutes, you want to have a slight lean in your lunge or to target the quads, you want to have your torso more upright. As you're coming up from the lunge, I want you to 
really think about pressing that heel into the ground and keeping your head forward. I'm so sorry that the lighting does not look as good because I'm not in direct sunlight, but I'm next going to go and to quad extensions. So let's get on with it. My biggest advice when it comes to leg extensions is to bend forward just a bit and control the weight. I don't want you lifting too much and I don't want you going too fast while performing the exercise either. Slow and controlled movements are going to be best for this movement and honestly all of the movements that I'm giving you. There we go. I don't know. I'm sorry. Next we're going to go into a hamstring movement, um, which is probably my favorite lower body movement. We're going to do cable Romanian deadlifts over here. Whoop whoop, nothing better than a hinge movement. I want your feet hip width apart and think about pushing a door with your booty as you hinge over. This movement, you want to be slow and controlled so you can feel that pull and the back of your hamstrings. As you come up, I want you to think about tearing a piece of paper with your feet. This just helps activate your glutes a bit more. So we are targeting the glutes and the hamstrings just a smidge more. I promise it's worth it. So to finish everything out, I'm going to be doing a superset. So a superset are two movements that you do back to back with little to no rest. I like to program supersets kind of depending on what my goal of the workout is. So this one is just gonna be a bit of a burner. I apologize in advance, but it's going to be good. It's jump squats and two wall sits. So let's go. When performing a jump squat, I want you to think about sitting back into a chair as well as not using your toes to land on. So I want you to land flat-footed instead of just on your toes. If the squats get to be too much, don't you fret. You can do body weight squats as well. They are going to be just as beneficial for you. Next, I've got you doing a wall sit. This right here is difficult. So you can do it for 30 seconds, 45 seconds, a minute. If you think it's too easy, add weight onto it. But I want you to stay at that 90 degree angle and keep your core tight as you are doing it. I am so out of breath. But to finish out the workout, I'm just gonna show you guys a few stretches that I like to do. And then you can go with Chipotle or whatever you want. Every single stretch that I'm going to be doing is because I did a specific movement. So this stretch right here is going to stretch your hamstrings. You want to do each stretch for around 20 to 40 seconds. But I am doing this because we did the cable RDL RDLs earlier. So that is why. And then we're going into the V stretch, which this is going to stretch your adductors mine are extremely tight so that is why i do that next we're going into that hip flexor stretch whoop whoop because tight hip flexors are not it and they're something everyone should be working on and then we're going to go into that standing quad stretch i have horrible awful terrible balance so i have to put an arm out but honestly this stretch is chef's kiss you want to hold this and make sure your knee is in line with the knee that is standing up and yes break dance i'm probably listening to harry Styles. and just like that you completed your very first beginner gym workout so if you liked this if you like gym content and you want to subscribe please do i would love to have you here see you in my next one